vulnerable or susceptible to a demonic attack. Not only the, uh, uh, if we're aware of it, you know Satan's aware of it. Amen. First huh. Peter 5 and 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Mm, that's it. See, the devil is Satan. The Satan pursues us in order to destroy us. Well. Amen. You see, Satan pursues us in order to separate us from God. He pursues us that he may snatch the word of God out of our heart. He pursues us in order to pull us from the divine circle of fellowship and relationship with Jesus Christ. Satan comes after us in, a, in, in order to wear us thin, unravel the, the fabric of our faith. The fabric of our faith. The fabric of our faith. I, 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 I was thinking about that. It, uh, the fabric of our faith is our belief in Jesus Christ. Our fabric of our faith is that Jesus died for our sin. The fabric of our faith is our belief that G faith in Jesus produces life. And life which is more abundant. Life that is eternal. And faith in Jesus grants us the residency into God's kingdom. These are the fabrics of our faith. And these are what Satan is after. He wants to take it away from you. He wants you not to believe that God can deliver you. He wants to take away your trust that you have in him. He don't mind you trusting in seats you sit down in that they're going to hold you up. He don't mind you trusting in getting in your car and riding across town. They, Satan don't mind that you trust in getting an airplane and fly across the country. He don't care about you trusting in that, but he don't want you trusting in Jesus Christ. Amen. And you know, we as a church have to be mindful that he's trying to take away that trust that we have in God. Uh -huh. you, see, you see, when we stop trusting in God, nothing can be built down the road. When we stop trusting in God, you know, uh, anything that we stand in need of, God don't have to provide it for us. Huh. Satan's after our faith. Yes, he is. He knows if he can get our faith. He can get our minds. Mm -hmm. He can get our faculties. We don't act right when we ain't got faith. Mm -hmm. Y'all know we don't. <laughs> when we put our faith aside, when we put our faith aside, Brother Shell, what, what happens is we cuss one another out. When we, put, when we put our faith aside, uh, we go talk about our brothers and our sisters in the streets when we put our faith aside. But we're not trusting God to deliver them. Amen. See, God delivered me. I, I, I know God delivered me. But can I trust God to deliver you? Amen. Amen. <sighs> like Peter, Satan wants to sift us <coughs> Is wheat. In other words, like Peter, Satan wants to agitate our lives. Like Peter, Satan wants to fatigue us by frustrating us with life shattering conditions and situations. But as with Peter, Satan must get permission from God. Amen. Did you think that you were going through, did you think we were going through, did you think I was going through this without God giving permission for me to go through it? Hmm. Did that make sense? God knows what you're going through. God knows that how hard it is. Well. God knows.
know God knows how difficult it is. I was sharing with Reverend Maurice a little while ago in the book of Deuteronomy when God was giving the tribes of Egypt, tribes of Israel, the charge when he was speaking to the to the tribe of Asher, he said, as your days are, so shall your strength be. I, 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 I looked at that this morning, and, 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 it, and it spoke to me, Sister Ada. Uh, uh, I hadn't, I, I, I told Maurice, I, I, I've been uh, fast forwarding right past that. You know, I read it, but I didn't see it. This morning, God opened it up to me. He said, he said as your days are, so shall your strength be. In other words, what God was trying to tell me uh, 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 is that he made the day. He knows what the day is. Mm -hmm. He knows what I was going to stand in need. He's going to give me the strength Amen. to get through that day. Amen. I've been trying to figure out. People always tell you, you don't put no more on you than you can bear. Right? right? That's what he tells us. That's what his folk tell us that, don't they? And, 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 and we buy into it, but I would have been trying to see it. As your days are, so shall your strength be. In other words, he's providing for you what you need for even before you get up in the morning. Amen. 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 <sighs> he wants to sift us, but he has to have a mission. We learn in Job, Satan can't do nothing to us without authorization from God. Amen. In the story of Job, we find he can't even approach us unless God say, okay. And if God grants it, when God gives him permission to assail us, to come up against us, he, he gives him permission with with limitations. Amen. With limitation. He said, you can take his land. Mm -hmm. You can take his house. Mm -hmm. You can take his children. You can take his health. But you can't touch his soul. Come on now. Mm. In other words, what God was telling Satan in regards to you, God, I can talk about God. God, my friend, we don't always understand, but he's my friend. Amen. He come by the hospital the other day, he said, I just wanted to sit with you a while. He had no words of wisdom. He just wanted to sit with me a while. You know, uh, that makes you feel good. You know, you... you he makes me mad all the time. <laughs> but, 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 you see, we can't have faith in God unless our faith is tested. Amen. <laughs> you got to go through something. You got to endure something. Your faith has to be tested. Well, well. Our faith must be tested because faith that is not tested is faith that can't be trusted. Come on, man. Wow. Untested faith is unproven faith. Untested faith is unsubstantiated faith. Unverified. Unvalidated. Unauthenticated. So we understand if we claim to have faith in God, it is a faith that comes with circumstances and unwelcoming events to prove our faith. You hear me, Maurice? Amen. Your faith got to be proven. And you, 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 you can't just trust it when, when the paychecks is week after week after week. But when you skip that paycheck, mm. huh, you know, it's, 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 it's easy for me to say, thank you, Lord, when the blood work comes back good. But when there's a blimp, and when there's a question, uh, what do you say? 
So, so, so we got to understand that to have faith in God is a faith that comes with hitches and snags and difficulty that when it do it, it, it verifies our faith. Jesus says to Peter, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan is asking you that he may sift you as wheat. But I prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And, and when you are returned to me, strengthen your brethren. What, what is sifting? Sifting is a process that enables the separation of what is good and useful from that which is harmful or irrelevant. Something that you don't need. God wants to separate you from it. See, 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 sifting wheat in the days of Jesus was somewhat of a violent system. It had to be torn away. And in order to separate wheat from grain, it had to take it off its stalk and its shaft. What's a stalk? Stalk is a stem of the wheat of grain plant or some other herb plant. What is chaff? Chaff is the seed covering and other debris that gets separated from the wheat of the grain when wheat or grain is sifted. Another definition of chaff is that which is worthless. Think about it. In the process of shifting, Sifting wheat, sifting wheat involve tearing apart. In the process of sifting wheat, it's an aggressive action. When Jesus says to Simon, say, Satan has asked you that he may sift you as wheat. In other words, he wanted him to know, you getting ready to go through something, boy. You getting ready to endure something right now. You've got to do it. We don't want to do it. Jesus himself didn't want to do it. You remember, he, he, he said, if Father, if it be that, he said, uh, let me not. He, in other words, he didn't want to have to go through what he had to go through. You and I don't want to go through what we got to go through. But it's all about our faith. Faith is our complete trust and confidence in someone or something. Faith is, uh, is complete trust or confidence in our God. Amen. It's a condition of the human heart that is real to God and the reality of what we receive from God and when we exercise this faith. Why is faith important? Why does the devil come after our faith by any means necessary? You know that? He'll use anything to come after your faith. Amen. He won't stop with your money. He won't stop with your uh, uh, riches. He won't stop with your home. He won't stop with your car. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's an easy, that's an easy test of faith when, when you get a flat tire because normally you can get it fixed in a few days. But God, but God knows that Satan can get attention from you if you submit your faith into him. See, we receive God's blessing through faith. We get healed through faith. We get saved through faith. Without faith, we can't please God. Amen. Without faith, we cannot or will not obtain anything from God. Salvation comes by faith. Well, Miracles are manifested through faith. Victory is achieved through, by, by, by means of faith. All things are made possible through faith. Take away faith and we're lost. Mm -hmm. Take away faith and we're doomed in our sins. Amen. Take away faith and our prayers go in unanswered. Amen. Take away our faith and we have no place in the kingdom. Take away our faith and we have no uh, we have become eternally homeless. Take away our faith and we are helpless. Take away our faith and we're defenseless. Take away our faith and Satan is victorious. Amen. Mm. <coughs> Estrus Grove, uh, we, we, we know we got to go. For, I need for you to, to guard your faith. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of faith, but we need to guard that faith which we got. 
I, I, I trust him because I've seen what he has done. Amen. I ain't see, I not only see what he can do, but I've seen what he has Amen. done. Amen. I have a little bit of faith because I see what he's doing right now. Well. <laughs> if I had to listen to Satan, I'd have gave up a long time ago. Amen. You see, you see, uh, we got to guard our faith because only our faith can move God. Yes. Only our faith will, will allow God to listen to our prayers. Guard our faith. Uh, we can't compromise our faith. Guard our uh, faith. We, we, we don't surrender our faith to the world. We can't surrender our faith to nothing. Yes. No fame. No fortune. No pleasure. No possessions. No drugs. No liquor. No streets. No night living. Don't give it up for a booty call. Don't give it up for get your freak on. Don't give it up uh, for a uh, crooked behavior. Don't give it up for deceptive way. Guard your faith. Guard it with your life. Guard your faith. Guard it with your prayer. Guard your faith. Much prayer. Much power. Little prayer. Little power. No prayer. No power. Guard your faith. Your faith is worth something. It's more valuable than gold. It's more precious than diamond. It is more powerful than dynamite. It is the greatest asset that we have. You got no faith? We might well hang it up. Cut the lights off. Guard our faith. Keep it sound. Keep it safe. Guard our faith. Keep it firm. Keep it sure. Keep it fixed on Jesus. Keep it steady in God. No matter what comes our way. And guard our faith. Guard it in the face of opposition. Guard it in the face of persecution. Guard it in the face of tribulation. Guard our faith in the, in the face of desperation. Guard your faith when sickness comes. Guard your faith if death is knocking at the door. Guard your faith if tragedy strikes. Guard your faith when you don't have an answer. Guard your faith when you can't see a way. When you can't figure it out. If you can't trace God, you can still trust God. You see, you trust God in the midnight hour. Trust God in the valley of vexation. Trust God in the seasons of sorrow. Trust God in times of trouble. Give no victory to Satan. Give no delight to the devil. If you sift it, hold on. When you sift it, keep your faith. I heard the songwriter say, time is filled with sweet transitions. Not on earth, unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Trust in him who will not leave you. Whose whatsoever the years may bring. By, if by earthly friends forsaken, still more closely to him cling. I'm, I'm here to tell you to hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. We got to guard our faith, y'all. We got to make sure he can't get to it, y'all. Even though things are not happening the way I want them to happen, I still have faith in God. I'm still trusting in him. I'm trying to lead on him because I know he can hold me up. As your days are, so shall your strength be. Guard your faith. He's got you. Guard your faith no matter what's going on. He's got you. The devil say, you're losing. You just trust in God anyhow. You know this, know this. If, if, if the devil assails you, it's because God's given him permission to do so. Jesus. Amen. Go to the church are open. If there be one, would you come? It's a storm coming. Storm coming.